One of the difficulties in understanding Hindu Dharma for the Western mind and for the monotheistic mind is the abundance of deities in the Hindu Dharma, the many gods and goddesses. There are deities relative to the person, the family, the community, the place, the region of the country. There are deities recognized in the plants, the mountains, the rivers, the stars, the planets, all these different factors. And so there's a sense that, oh, Hindus are polytheists. They don't recognize that there's one God or one truth. They think there's all these different deities of various levels competing with one another. That is a misinterpretation. Uh, what Hindu Dharma recognizes is a universal formulation of divinity, not a unique or uniform or separative formulation. So to the divine belong all names and forms, and yet the divine transcends all names and forms. And we should worship the divine in whatever name or form or approach we find suitable or inspiring to us. There cannot just be one standard form or one standard approach to divinity for everyone. So Hindu Dharma recognizes that the divine is not only one, but also infinite. And its, its unity is an infinite unity, not a sterile uniformity. And that embraces all of creation, all of the worlds, and yet something uh, beyond. And then we should honor the divine in a way that is intimate to ourselves. Here I'm always reminded of ecology that says to think universally, but to act locally, to recognize the local forms of the divinity that pervade the whole of life. And not only divinity, the sacred, the sacred waters, the sacred air, uh, the sacred aspect of our own lives. The body is a temple for the uh, divinity. Each creature is a manifestation of the divine or the universal force. So in that regard, uh, this recognition of um, numerous deities and deity forms is the sign of spiritual maturity, spiritual abundance, and an open approach to divinity that allows us to find our own particular approach. And then we begin to understand the qualities involved, the place of each particular form. And then the form of the deity is related to a mantra, an energy form, a yantra, a meditation, an inner practice. It is not just an outer object that is being worshipped. There is the energization of the divine in form, and then taking that energization of form ultimately within us and ultimately within the whole of life.